into round number three. Aha! Uh -huh. Going for an old classic, if you will. Going, hey, here's a control deck versus an infect deck. And infect, you just you see a couple players still playing it from time to time. The deck is a powerful deck, right? You, you can be able to get some good wins off, but with more Jun running around, you're in a rough spot, right? You're kind of at a disadvantage. If you're going to be playing Infect, you need to be playing Wild Defiance. Um, you know, a big fan of it back in the day. I still think that this is the route to go if you're going to be playing Infect currently. Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of an instant or sorcery spell, that creature gets plus three, plus three. It does cost three mana to cast it, though. So, But it is worth it, right? Especially with all those bolts and things running around. Hey, your creature just gets bigger. Plus, you need less pump spells to kill somebody. So... On the other side of the thing, Lyle opting for the Jeskai control. Now, I'm assuming it's control. I don't know if it's tempo. I don't know if he's running anything super spicy in it. We'll have to wait and see what his list has in store for us tonight. All right, both players getting ready to go. Organizing their hands. Jamie not happy with his. Going to be shipping his back. Yep, seems like he's ready this time. Pendlehaven. So, you see a Pendlehaven, there's basically two decks running around modern that can run Pendlehaven. That's Elves an infect. When you see a Pendlehaven and you do not see a turn one elf coming down, then you kind of got that idea, okay, you're you're on infect, right? You're you're not sitting here and playing the elf play to do this. And looks like a steam vents tap for Lyle. He said Jamie goes, okay, noble, I will also fetch shock myself, go to seventeen, play this glistener elf as well. Or not. Wow, just goes to seventeen and passes. Hollow Fountain, pass. So that's kind of looking like Jamie's ready to... Okay. Boom! Ready! Spell Snare! Get out of here! Says, no infects allowed. And we see bring the beats actually. Here, I'll poke you. Drops them to nineteen. Flooded trans pass. Looks like a distortion strike, a blighted agent, Jace Friend's prodigy in hand, and a might snap. Spell Snare. And that's fine by Jamie. He's basically trying to force resources out of the way. And now he knows the coast is clear if he wanted to... Oh, no, he doesn't have a Blighted Agent. Okay. He's got a Blossoming Defense as his other card. Two damage coming across, Jamie's going to drop down to 15, and he's basically saying, hey, maybe I'll be able to put the hurt on you, right? And here's our Jace, not Jace, our Gideon ally of Zendikar, and he says, my neg ability, I'm going to make a 2-2 two -two human knight. And he says, well, I'm going to play my Jace, Vryn's Prodigy, and I'm going to pass. Well, it's got a lot of lands here. It looks like two more damage going to come across here. Another knight seems like will be made. 
Jamie going to fall to 13. Wow, lots of land. So let's do some looting. This torsion strike is going to go. Um, I think that's fine. Like, you're full of protection spells. And he says, I'd like to use this blossoming defense to protect it. And Lyle's debating whether he wants to fight over it. He's got a cryptic command, but is it like, is that worth it? Do I care about that? And yeah, it looks like we'll fetch. That's his second fetch, so I missed. He should be at 17 now. And yeah, he says cryptic command. Modes, counter, draw a card. And he says, all right, here's this might. To give it plus two, plus two, so it'll have four toughness. Keeping it alive through your lightning bolt. Another island here. says let's bring the team Jace I keep wanting to call him Jace um, Gideon does become a 5-5 five five here so 5-5 five five, two, two twos and 1-2-1 one one. 11 points of damage coming across he says I'll protect it with this vines if you try to get it I'm going to be turning him into a planeswalker. But he's used all of his resources, so even if he has done that... Oh, and he says, hey, you can get another land, but knowing full well that there is no other land. And Jamie's just going to say, yeah, you got it. Let's let's go to game two. All right, I've used all my resources. There's no coming back from this position. And that is the kind of downside to playing against control. Like, you're committing... Oh, you're committing a lot to this combo style of I'm going to deal 10 damage to you where the control player is like, well, you can try. I'm going to try to path your stuff. I'm going to counter your spells and you're going to be committing resources but not getting anywhere. All right. So Lyle going through trying to decide where he wants to go as far as his sideboard. I mean, it looks very much like a, just a stock Jeskai control style of list. Like, there's Helixes, you can see. There's Bolt in there. Um, I think the Planeswalker side of things is a little bit different, a little bit newer. Trying to do something, you know, a little different, which is cool. Jamie's really got to hope for a good early start with protection, right? You have to play a little bit more defensive in this matchup, not just go, here's an elf, try to kill you turn two, because it's a lot to hope that you don't have, that your opponent doesn't have a, a bolt or a path, you know, to stop you on turn two. Um... You know, that's a little bit much, I think, to hope for that in this day and age. Alright, both players getting ready. Shuffling up, making sure they're decks are presented to their opponents.
well, Ink Moth into Lyle's Fetch Shock into a Serum Vision. And you, and you can be a little bit more willy-nilly with your life, knowing that it's very rare for you to die to lethal damage facing down an Infect player. So Serum Visions, draw, scry two. And it looks like he'll do one and one and pass turn. So Jamie basically saying, hey, I don't have an elf to play this turn, but I can set myself up that I can play a blade agent this turn, a noble this turn, or depending on what you do, push you for some damage. Jamie gonna fall to 19. And this is the tell. Do you just push for one damage here? Or do you have something else in mind? Looks like he... Yeah, I'll lose two life, and I'll deal three damage to you. So he'll go to 17 and deal three points of poison. So Lyle keeping all this mana available is scary. Shaper's Sanctuary going to come down saying, hey, whenever uh, your creature becomes a target of a spell or an ability, you get to draw a card. Just a way to help draw into protection spells. And Sulphur Falls pass. Another land. Looks like he's going to try for it here. Say, hey, if you got the counter spells, you got it. Right? Let's see. Oh, he says. I don't like that, because if I was holding on to one protection spell, you would have taken it by now. And it so happens he's got that become amends. He does have a Vines of Basswood. So that makes the most sense to strip that away. I think he just drew a spell pierce. But what's nice is that he can at least try to draw into another protection spell. Blossoming defense, vines, something like that. Push for damage says here's three. Drops him to fourteen. Crown swell. Activate, he says. Move to combat. Says alright, two. That's fine. I'll wait. Puts you to five. Path, he says. Trigger, I get to draw a card. Do you fight over it? And he says, no, I won't. Well, I'm going to fetch here. And shock. Say, so, you know what? Yeah, I can get away with this. I'm going to go to 14. You're not putting any major pressure on me right now. And this is still end step in case uh, Lyle has a way to kill off that Ink Moth. Snapcaster, and I'd like to cast this Path to Exile on it. it. Says trigger, I'll draw a card, and then Spell Pierce this. Oh, he's got a Blossom Defense, keeping the Spell Pierce available. So nice draw. Did draw into that protection spell, actually. Another Snapcaster saying, yeah, I'll do Serum Visions. Why not? 
draw, scry two. Set myself up here. Looks like there's a wear and tear, and he immediately puts that up at the top, knowing that he can try to kill off that Ink Moth Nexus next turn. And he just has to keep his Vendillion click on blocking duty if things don't go well. Here's a Noble. So that's what that card is at the bottom there, that Saper Sanctuary really has done a lot of work for Jamie here. Uh, so he did take two, four more damage there. So he's dropping down to eight. And looks like he says, you know what, let's just go for it. I'm going to activate coming at you this time. And he says, here's a Groundswell. Let's try to trade. Oh no, he also has the uh, plus one off the Noble. So saying, hey, this guy's a 4-4, four, four. I'm going to kill your guy off. Trying to get the coast to be clear, but Lyle can just say, here's my wear and tear. I'm going to cast and target both of these. So first off, uh, Shaper's Sanctuary lets Jamie draw the card. Oh! All right, and he goes spell pierce it, and he could say, "Okay, here's the two. Both of these will die. This will die. All of this dies. Land pass." A lot of resources committed to this, and Lyle has a lot of lands available to him to cast all the spells. Seven points of damage Lyle has on board currently. Ugh. Most hated card. Is it Static Caster? It says, I'm going to save him. But now the coast is clear to say, hey, seven drops you to one you can't fetch. Unless you have that dried arbor, then you trade something. But he should in the main unless he took it out. So he says, yep, I'm going to go to seven right away. Uh, looks like just says, you know what? Not feeling it. Let's scoop it up. Whew. Well, that's the power of control. And you're sitting there saying, you know what? I don't want to play against any control if I'm running in fact. So not, not fun. Not fun. Um, that was round three, guys. Uh, for those that are wondering, we've got some Pokemon running around at the bottom. Um, just trying to keep the chat entertaining. Um, if you are following the stream and, or subscribing to the stream, you and you're interacting in chat, you know, you get a avatar that you can run around with and jump and do things like that. Um, so trying out a little bit more chat interaction uh, does go away after I think three minutes. We have it set for so if you're not chatting for three minutes, your avatar goes away. And just hang out, chat some more, and pop back up, get a new avatar. So you can see this random Pokemon right now, because who doesn't like Pokemon, right? So that is uh, trying something a little bit different with the stream. Going to start doing it with other streams as well, but wanted to start it out and test it out this Monday to see see how things worked, right? Let's test it out. Um, so 
we've got two more rounds to go tonight, guys. Going pretty quick. Been very one-sided, uh, it seems like. But, uh, you know, round two was pretty back and forth. Round three, though, just like, hey, control, a little bit too good for Infect. So let's see what round three, or sorry, round four has to offer.